Hello, Jason here. I'm back with another um, video review of, uh, of a novel I just finished. Um, it was called Ball by uh, Robert McCammon. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. I gave it a 3 out of 5 on Goodreads, um, which, you know, so for me, 3 out of 5 means it was a, it was a pretty good book. I don't regret reading it. Um, not, you know, not one of my favorite books, but good, pretty good. Worth the, worth the time. Um, so, yeah, it's, this is, uh, I read, I read Swan, I, this is a second novel of his that I've read. And I read, so I read Swan Song last year. I loved that book. It was great. Um, and it made me want to start reading more Robert McCammon. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, so I started at the beginning. This was his first novel that he wrote um, back in 1978, I believe. Uh, so first novel, um, it, it's not as good as Swan Song. Uh, for sure. It's pretty good though. Um, especially the first hundred or so pages really were, were great. And, um, so even for a first novel, his, his writing is awesome. Like Robert McCammon, I love his, the way, his style of writing. He's really good at, uh, at showing and not telling things. Like he, there's, there's parts where like, he doesn't expressly tell you what's happening. He just shows you through the eyes of the character. Um, and, uh, and you kind of have to like, be like, Oh, I see. You know? So that's, that's great. I really enjoy that aspect. And then just his, his writing is very like visually descriptive. So like, it's like watching a movie when you're reading it, like in your head. Um, and it's odd. Like, I don't, think any of his books have ever been adapted to film which is odd because they would be great movies swan song would be like an awesome like mini series on like an hbo type ch network or something like that so like i don't know why i don't know why they've never been made to none of his stuff has ever been made into movies but they should be um, so anyone out there who's who's making a movie um maybe maybe think about that um but anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to get into some spoilers here. Um, I consider basically any sort of discussion about a book to be spoiler-y um, because, you know, the, the best reading experiences I've ever had have been where I go into a book and I literally, I don't know anything about it. Um, that's usually the best uh, place to come from. If you Even if you know, like, some of the plot points, it might... Um, it, it, it kind of ruins stuff. Uh, so, so yeah, so just keep that in mind. If you are interested in reading this book, I would say, uh, stop watching the video, go read the book and then come back and, you know, we can discuss, uh, what your thoughts are on it. Um, but my thoughts basically, like I said, the first, uh, hundred or so pages were really good. Um, uh, I liked, okay, so what I liked about, here, quick, quick, quick setup. Uh, basically, it's about a guy, uh, or a lady, she comes, she's walking home from work one day, and she gets, um, she gets raped by this, like, devil, demon man, um, and he, like, you know, he's, like, a, whatever, I don't know, he, like, burns her where he touches her and stuff, so she's, like, covered in, like, handprint burns, and, uh, I think he tries to kill her, but, um, he gets, like, run off by some dude who like saves her is like hey get out of here um or whatever he like intervenes and saves her um so then and then she gets pregnant with this demon baby um and yeah so it's kind of it's kind of, that's the setup basically it's kind of rosemary's baby esque although um it can the story continues and you know he grows up he becomes an adult he he ends up in an orphanage and uh like a catholic orphanage or whatever and he uh doesn't really like that too much um so yeah he uh and then and then thing he starts this big cult and kind of takes over he like slowly wants to destroy the entire earth like kill everyone and bring on armageddon uh it's kind of his end goal he's like antichrist e um yeah so uh that's the basic premise of the book um 
I won't go too much into it, but there's, you know, there's a lot of uh, sort of interesting characters. There's a guy um, introduced sort of later in the novel, almost probably past the halfway mark, who uh, also has some kind of supernatural powers. And I think he's maybe, he's like, a, he's like an angel or something. His name's Michael. So, you know, a lot of, like, good versus evil type of uh, thematic elements there. Um, uh, yeah, so, um, again, I enjoyed the book. Uh, what I really, the other thing I really liked about it, too, is, like, how, like, global it felt. Because, like, the first part takes place in America, I think Boston or somewhere like that. And then the second part is in, like, uh, the Middle East, I think it's in Kuwait or some something, um, and then the third part is in like snowy Greenland, where so like the different settings are interesting and um, keep the you know keep it varied, which is nice. It's not like same all the way through. Um, like I said I enjoyed the first part. It was a lot. It was pretty engaging. There was a lot of like really interesting like action type stuff where he was like being super evil, and then. The second part, I mean, it kind of, it just lulled in the middle. Because um, he, the ball, the bad guy, the main villain, um, wasn't really in it at all in the middle. Uh, you know, it's kind of this, this other character. He's like going, he goes to Kuwait to like investigate what's going on because he's like writing a book or something about cults. So he's like, ooh, I'm interested in, I'm interested in what's going on over there. Um... And then he gets there and he gets kind of wrapped up in this whole situation. Um, but anyway, yeah, like I said, the, the middle part's a little a little slow. Or slower. Um, stuff definitely happens. And it's there's some pretty brutal uh, scenes in there, for sure. But, uh, but yeah, um, again, overall... Really enjoyed the book. Glad I read it. Going to read more Robert McCammon. Um, the next, his next novel is called Bethany's Sin, so I think I'll read that uh, at some point soon. Maybe I'll do a video review of that one. Um, but uh, yeah, um, thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Um, I really appreciate uh, anyone, all you guys who are watching my videos. Um, it really is, uh, it's a lot of fun doing this. So I'm going to keep, uh, I'm going to keep making videos and stuff. So um, yeah, Ball, Robert McCammon. Get out there and read it if you uh, want. And um, yeah, leave, leave any comments, any, any book recommendations or anything like that that you think I might like based on uh, this down in the comments that'd be great um and i i'm always i'm always open for suggestions and looking for stuff to read so um really appreciate it uh i'll i'll see you guys next time peace